Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. So, um, I'm just gonna get right into it. You could have Leo in your chart. Um, strong Leo energy here. We have fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, and your sign Aquarius as well. So you're showing up in your reading here with the Wheel of Fortune, but you're in reverse, right? So you're not feeling that confident. And I, I was already gonna say that with this Queen of Cups in reverse. It's like you're not feeling your best self. You're not feeling that confident in, in whatever you're experiencing right now. The Two of Swords in reverse crowning your reading. It's kind of like you know what you need to do, but again, there's this lack of confidence um and then it's like i'm getting this energy of you're needing to do something because we have three fire cards um you know fire energy is all about you know that action putting in that work the doing you know yang energy so you are i feel like you need to take the wheel take control of your situation here whatever it is that you're you know you're trying to you need to make a decision about something and i see you making the right decision here you know it's you know you have good intentions behind this this could have to do with your family or you know this is just wish fulfillment for you ten of cups i see you being really happy here but it's like you it's like you have your eye on this vision but you're needing to go to you're needing to put in certain steps here we got the page of wands um you know taking that first initiative communication here I'm getting this lack of confidence you're needing to maybe have a beginner's mindset about what you're doing whatever it is you're trying to accomplish it's like um it's like i feel like you're thinking too far along like you'll cross that bridge when you get to it i'm hearing um and i feel like there's this energy of um i feel like you really need to pay attention to your thoughts and how you're thinking about certain situations like the outcome you want to think about the best possible outcome of whatever you're dealing with right now you don't want to be negative and think about the worst thing that could happen you always want to think about what is the best thing that could happen right now you're really focused on um your life mission your accomplishments your career structure right now with house 10 energy i feel like this full moon in capricorn is definitely going to be revealing there's definitely aspects of your life that are being transformed here right now and this could have to do with something in regards to your family i'm going to clarify because i feel like there's too much like this is too general <laughs> even though this is a general reading um, we have leo energy so again you could have leo in your chart or this energy is about being self-confident right I didn't even, I'm just getting to reading this card right now and I've been talking about you're not feeling that confident. So you're needing to really um, embody this Leo energy of being confident, being loyal, and creative. Okay, you can always create a way. And I feel like you're being asked right now, like how disciplined are you? How loyal are you to your own destiny? You're being asked to release something here with the South Node energy. You are growing and expanding your life, okay? Some of you guys could be adding to your family. Some of you guys could be adding to your family. Um, we have early learning, childhood relations, the rational mind and communication with House 3. I mentioned that communication earlier with the Page of Wands. You could be getting some type of communication that is going to maybe help you make this de this decision. Um, we have Gemini energy here. I don't know how that might resonate with you with the Gemini energy. Some of you guys could be like getting some sort of information in regards to your childhood. Okay. Some information that's going to allow you to kind of release any past drama okay and it's gonna allow you to move forward and be happy and step into your confidence here and things are going to change because there's a completion coming there's a completion coming here with the wheel of fortune okay I feel like the information is yet to be revealed here, okay? So the full moon is going to reveal some information. You are going to get some information being revealed to you. 
in the coming days and this is going to allow the wheels to turn in your favor okay so look we have the king of pentacles here coming out in reverse blockages with money blockages in money So maybe some of you guys could be getting some family money. That's a very specific message here. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Let's get some clarity. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. Again, I'm getting just finding out some information in regards to your family. It's like you haven't been able to really like even sleep at night because of like mm, some sort of hidden information um you know you've been really working on yourself on your craft trying to stay busy but at the end of the at the end of the day you're being blocked like there's some blockage in regards to what you're trying to attract and manifest because i don't know the specifics but you are going to find out very soon hey whatever this is tell me about the wheel of fortune in reverse Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Four of Cups. It's like you're just waiting. You've just been waiting. We got the High Priestess. Look, that's all about secrets. Something being hidden. Pisces energy. And then we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse clarifying the knight of wands okay so i feel like you could be having money come to you look the six of pentacles on the back and the ten of pentacles which is also a family card in the world so this is a super specific message for you uh for you aquarius maybe you know only for one of you but i'm glad to be the one to tell you okay this is this energy that i'm picking up on you guys are going to be receiving some type of money and i feel like it's in regards to your family like this is family ties family drama or you know family shit going on here but it's going to be wrapped up with this full moon there's not going to be any more strife or struggle in regards to this family money or this family secret you're going to get what's owed to you and more okay i feel like you could be set for life here we do have 10 10 10 here so major you know endings new beginnings completion you know cycles being wrapped up and you know yep this full moon in capricorn is all about ending of tough cycles We have sensuality, your freedom flowing from far away. I dance, I live, I laugh, I play. I feel like you, like, you're going to get your passion back. It's like you haven't even really been able to live your life through your senses, but that's going to be coming back here um, because whatever this information or materials that you're getting back or just getting in general and then we have a safe home okay your home is safe and we have justice here okay so very specific message this could be like inheritance as well this could even be property that you're getting okay so i don't even know what i'm going to title this reading but that's what i have for you aquarius like the video let me know if this resonated with you in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys. Bye.